What's going on Z Nation, it's Z from Z Nation here. Today I have a brand new video. This is going to be a new series, uh, Pokemon VGC. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. So, um, many of you who are, are familiar with the TGC, um, well, it's uh, there's another uh, competitive format, which is VGC, the Video Game Ch uh, Championship, uh, opposed to the Trading TCG, a uh, trading card game. Um, so, uh, playing VGC is a ton of fun. You can actually start by playing it on your Game Boy, Nintendo DS, 3DS, or Switch. Um, I want to say uh, TG, uh, VGC started it in 09 officially, and um, apparently it's been a big thing ever since. Um, I probably, I think I got into it about two months ago, VGC, and um, I've loved it. And I've been trying to play both VGC and TCG, and I love them both. Uh, most of my videos have been about TGC uh, because I just recently got back into it, uh, and I love it. But VGC, I kind of backed away for the TCG. So we're gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and teach you guys how to structure a team. Uh, so let's see. Come here. So every team um, has, I believe, every team of six um, should have its a uh, uh, should have um, a Pokemon does its part. Uh, you have, should have a physical sweeper. A special sweeper, a physical wall, a special wall, a mixed sweeper, and a mixed wall. Uh, VGC is a little different just because it's double. For one, it's doubles, and you can only bring four out of the uh, six you have. Um, some people believe you should bring physical sweeper, all sweepers, or uh, one physical, one special, uh, one physical wall, one special wall. Uh, your mixed sweeper, your mixed wall, and a, a physical or special, or a physical and special wall or sweeper. Um, it kind of depends. So what I went ahead and did is I actually went and built um, a base, just a basic outline of a team uh, that would show you, uh, you know, each Pokemon's part. So we're gonna start with our physical sweepers, Rhyperior. Um, so it has a ton of defense, but its uh, attack um, outweighs. Um, and so me on the, I would be more inclined to increase its attack um, and also increase its health. Um, it does have good defense, so it can take physical hits, uh, but with its health being a little bit lower than its defense, I decided to increase the, uh, increase the health. Um, I would then increase its attack, while um, I, in my def way, I would minus its speed, uh, but that's because uh, the way uh, playing, if you were playing in the meta, you would, that's how you would want to go through it. You'd want to... Uh, um, especially super slow Pokemon. I believe if you if your uh, speed is around 40, uh, you should uh, just get rid of all the speed, uh, which is also known as a trick room counter. But I will get into that later. Um, so uh, some items for like right since it's a uh, since it is a heavy hitter. Uh, personally, I would probably I wouldn't want to give it a life orb, but I would probably give it. Uh, I don't want to give it a weakness policy, just due to uh, just due to the um, lack of special defense. Now, but I guess for argument's sake, we will just give it a weakness policy. Uh, so when choosing an ability, you can have Reckless. Uh, the Pokemon attacks with Coil or Recoil or Crash Damage have a one point, so they ha they gain a twenty uh, percent increase, which isn't bad, but sometimes the recoil damage could be a bit pain. Uh, lightning rod, all electric moves are raised to it, and it gains special attack. Uh, really, uh, you really wouldn't really use this unless you were running a special, uh, a special ride period. But since, for argument's sake, we're running a physical set, um, we're gonna go ahead and stick with a uh, solid rock, which any super uh, effective attack only you know, only take 75 percent. Uh, so if you were to get ride period, um, an offensive, uh, I mean, a good move set. Um, personally, I would give it a. Uh, I would give it Earthquake, then I would give it Rock Slide uh, for Stab, or Protect, uh, just for basic protection, um, and then the final one, you can actually kind of just kind of choose how you would want to do it. Um, we'd probably just give it an Iron Punch, I mean, uh, not an Iron Punch, an Iron, uh, iron Head, um, and that's how we would go through it. Next, you would have Candelier. This would be our special sweeper. And again, guys, uh, this is all just based off of, um, all based off of, um, just, uh, stats. Uh, Rhyperior has a strong attack. Candelier has a strong special attack. Steelix has a strong defense. Uh, 
Togepic, Toge, uh, Togepic, I don't know, has a strong, uh, I don't know. So, actually, we made a, a little error. <laughs> uh, I guess to each his own. Uh, it's a uh, special defense isn't nowhere near as powerful. So, we're going to go ahead and give it a Mantine. So, uh, we'll give it a special wall. Sorry for that. So with Mantine having a uh, strong special defense, uh, we're going to go ahead, oh, uh, Mantine would be our special wall because it has a strong special defense. Uh, Lucario has a mixture of attack and defense along with uh, Bronzong having a mixture of uh, defense and special defense. So back to Chandler. So um, before selecting an item, it's always good to see what kind of, uh, what kind of ability it has. So Infiltrator ignores uh, uh, Reflect, Light Stream, Safeguard, Mist, Aria Ville. That's okay. Flash Fire. Um, if it's hit by a fire move, it, it does uh, gains 50%. And then Flame Body, 30% chance of making contact with this purse, this Pokemon. Uh, the other Pokemon will get burned. I believe Infiltrator just because it is a special attacker. And so it's good to uh, go ahead and get on the attack. Uh, for as... Um, um, as for actual items, uh, there are a couple of things uh, you would want to really see. It's a uh, defense, so it has pretty decent defense and amazing special attack. So uh, for me personally, I, I would probably give it a choice a ban um, choice specs just to really give it that extra 50% on the uh, special attack. Uh, only downside again is you'd only be able to use one attack. But again, this is all just for argument's sake. So, um, since it's fire and ghost, if it has two um, types, I always give it two stab moves. So we're going to go ahead and look at our ghost moves, um, which our best move would be shadow ball. And then we're going to go ahead and look at fire moves, which I mean, I'm a big, uh, I'm a big person on a flamethrower. Um, so when you um have, so also I believe in so types that would destroy ghosts are ghost types. Uh, I want to say dark types. So if it's dark, you'd want to if you can, I'd give it a fighting type, uh, because fighting type will destroy um dark, and uh if it's psychic. You'd want to give it a, a dark type. So you would want to give them. Let's see. So we would want to give it. So if we can give it a. a so let's go ahead and find a dark type move. So type. Dark. We're going to give it dark pulse. Because dark pulse has a 20% chance to flinch the target. And then we would want to give see if we if there is even any so we can't get any fighting moves so uh, whatever so let's see the uh, so with fighting uh, being what uh, beats dark I'm not actually quickly Google uh, which beats uh, what beats dark type so I want to say it's fighting uh, bug and fairy so we're gonna take a look at the fairy type moves so it has no fairy. So we're gonna see what kind of bug type moves it's got. No bug. So it, then, if in the event that you don't have any uh, moves that can actually handle its weaknesses, uh, you can take a look at its secondary. Fire. What beats fire? Rock. Uh, I'm gonna say rock. And what else does rock? Water. Um, or you can give it a status such as will o wisp. Uh, but um, in our case, we're going to focus on giving it a, uh, we're going to give it something that will defend it. So, uh, seeing how there's really nothing, it doesn't really have much of a move pool, uh, we can always go ahead and give it a, we can always give it Psychic. We could give it Psychic for uh, other, but, you know, there's millions of different moves, so we'll just give it Protect. Uh, so for its uh, EVs, um, I would give it a 252 special attack and 252 speed, uh, just for and then as far as HP, and then I would max out its special attack and we'd subtract its. So that's so we got our physical sweeper and our special sweeper. Next we got our physical wall. Uh, physical walls are uh, 
going to be able to handle physical attacks. Generally, most fighting types, uh, let's see, fighting types, and then most rock types, uh, ground types are going to be physical, whereas most special are going to be like ghosts, psychic, uh, fire, water, grass, electric, etc. And so, so as far as an item goes, uh, I would give it a leftovers, uh, just because it'll help increase its, uh, It'll increase its uh, defense. So Rockhead takes no uh, recoil. Sturdy, um, probably sturdy would be the best, um, or sheer force. But with its speed being so low, we'd give it sturdy. So uh, with a wall, you would really want to give it supportive moves. Let's. See. So you would want to use moves that um, have stat um, stat moves. So body press. Um, is a great attacking move because it'll focus more so on its defense stat. Um, and then let's see. So you could use moves like Stealth Rocks. Um, again, that'll that's really great because what it'll do is it'll uh, Stealth Rocks is when an opponent switches in, um, they'll actually take a little bit of damage um, every time they switch in. And then Let's see, you could probably run a sandstorm, which will increase its defense. Uh, that would probably be the angle I'd go for. And so we'd focus on increasing its defense, and we'd increase its HP. Uh, we'd maximize its defense, and we'd actually get rid of its speed. Um, and again, if we're up against like trick rooms, you know, we'll be able to uh, deal with it. And we'll give it four in special. No, we'll, yeah, we'd give it four in special defense. Uh, now, a special wall is going to be more so protected against attacks that are such as water, fire, grass, leaf, um, and less of physical attacks such as fighting, rock, and ground. Um, so the item, we're going to want to go ahead and give it, um, I want to give it an assault vest just because all it'll do is maximize its special, but really that's the idea. So... Let's see, water absorb during any uh, water attacks, yeah, so I don't know, I was thinking about that, but I don't think that's the way to go. Let's see, you could always give it like a bright powder, which will kind of make it uh, harder to be hit, and then uh, we would probably give it swift swim just in case rain dance is being active, it would be able to uh, speed it double, so water veil would probably be well, no, because its attack is so weak. So your best bet is honestly water absorb. Uh, now, as far as moves, so it's a water and flying, and it's going to be more so, I believe, it's more so of a wall. So, we're going to, you're going to want to use moves that, uh, I guess you want to say more so status, so we're going to use, um, protect. Uh, Tower wind, which will be great for the speed, uh, amnesia, and then we would honestly. So we're gonna we would we're gonna go ahead and run a rain dance, and we're gonna give it a swift swim. Let's see. Oh nope, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Uh, so and then the only other move I could really think about giving would be uh. Probably like a confused ray. And then of course we're going to increase its special defense. And we're going to increase its HP. Increase its regular defense. And maximize its special defense. And get rid of its uh, attack. Now we got our mix sweeper. Um, a mix sweeper is the only someone that's going to have both attacking uh, physical and special attacks. And so in this event... We would increase both its attack and, and a special attack while giving it four in speed. Um, and we would probably maximize its, uh, and probably maximize its speed. And we would, since fighting and steel type, we would probably just get rid of its uh, defense. And so, as far as an item goes, we would honestly want to give it, well, we'd give it a life since it'll cover both of its attack 
So if so, it's set flat. If it flinches, its speed is raised. But inner focus, I believe, will be great um, if it's made to flinch. I mean, uh, it'll be prevent, so it can't be flinch. So with fighting and steel, we're going to want to choose a fighting physical and a fighting special, along with a steel physical and a steel uh, special. Or you can go with a fighting physical and a, a steel special. So we're going to go to fighting uh, category. We're going to go physical. So I'm just a co so we can. Me, on the other hand, I would probably go with uh, close combat just because of the power, and it is a physical. So now we're going to go for type. We'll go ahead and, tr and get steel, and then and I want to say flash cannon is going to be our best bet. Yeah. Yeah. And so, what beats fighting? Flying and psychic. Uh, flying and psychic is what beats, uh, and so... What beats flying? Uh, generally, rock. So we're gonna just go ahead and see what kind of uh, um, attacks it has. Oh, a little scary. Uh, um, so uh, don't think we have. Yeah, we have. So we have rock slide. Rock slide is gonna be great for flying, fire, and uh, flying, fire, and what? Flying fire and uh, thunder, so we'll give rock slide, and then the only uh and what'll beat a uh, steel? I mean, will a psychic? See, a psychic will beat fighting, so I want to say I can give it dark pulse. So it has two. Uh, so it has one physical, one special, one physical, and one special. Next, we have our mixed wall. Our mixed wall is going to be more focused on the overall defenses. And uh, me, um, I'm going to give this thing an Evolite uh, because it'll increase its uh, both its uh, defense and special defense by 50%. So as far as moves go, you have Levitate, you have Heat Proof, and Heavy Metal. Um, you know, really it just depends, really. Um, um, it just depends. Um, if you want to be weak to like, um, you know, a lot of gr if you want to be weak to ground moves, that's fine. Uh, or you have heat proof, which is uh, not as weak to fire attacks or heavy metal. So would it be in? Uh, so we would honestly make this uh, levitate because it's one less thing you know we got to deal with. So with this, we're gonna want to focus more so on moves that are. Uh, that are um, more so um, supporters. So let's see. So no Thunderway or Will O Wisp. So if you guys have noticed, um, with all my walls, I've been looking at Thunder Wave and Will O Wisp. Uh, what that is generally for is that's just the C, because those are really good status affecting moves. You can burn, which will cut the physical attack in half, or you can paralyze, which will cut its speed. And so, I'm just gonna have to see. So, just, so if we run something like Heavy Slam. We're going to want to use heavy metal, because that way our weight's going to be uh, doubled. Now, we can uh, run, so we can run Reflect, which will cut any uh, physical damage, which will be great. And then we can run Light Screen. So this will protect, this will help cut physical and special damage done to our uh, allies. And then... If you really wanted to get special, you could run Trick Room. Uh, Trick Room is great for, uh, oh, uh, I, uh, let's see, oh, I got rid of the, uh, oh, I said I got rid of the Reflect. Um, so Trick Room is great because slower targets will go faster, and I, trust me, I believe, and, uh, you know, uh, sometimes you want to have speed control under you, but if you don't want to fill up Pokemon, uh, that are super uh, fast, you want to be able to keep it balanced. Trick Room is great, and if you wanted to focus more so on Trick Room, uh, you could actually uh, make Bronzong your main Pokemon. Uh, but again, this isn't really a Trick Room team, this is more so of a, a, of a standard uh, um, base with your uh, everything, you have one of everything. And some people do things better. Uh, sometimes people want to run three uh, or uh, two physical sweepers and one special, two physical walls and one special, uh, vice versa. Or they want to run three mixed sweepers and three mixed walls. Um, playing in VGC, um, 
really you would want to you would only bring four of them and so um, if I were you I would focus on building a team um, based on VGC and you can even use the same principles I'll have a physical and special sweeper and a physical and special wall um, and so but yet so that's gonna be that's the base um, basic uh, team building uh, principles that I uh, follow if you want to build a, a basic team well alright guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, um, there are gonna be some more videos being released uh, next week on on Monday on uh, 420 uh, we day <laughs> uh, shout out to uh, AP my little partner um, and my uh, mom whose birthday is uh, the day uh, it's gonna be on Tuesday uh, um, so it's gonna be hard for me to get videos when my daughter's uh, while I'm we're in the hospital and while I'm home with my daughter so uh, but I'm gonna try to get as many videos done this week so definitely uh, like comment subscribe uh, just send me messages let me know what more content you want to see and uh, you know definitely uh, hit that old bell button so you guys can see what videos will be next and so alright guys um, I'll see you guys in the next video